Hey guys, the farmer here. We're back at this Rissler vertical TMR mixer. We did one mix here. You know, I'm learning a little bit about it. So, um, work with me here. I got in the steer barn here. And uh, we'll open it up here again. These knives are just like the big ones. And they are very aggressive. So, I'm going to do a little video on how to operate it, drive it, and, um, and we'll go from there. So, Larson Valley Farms, he uh, asked to do a how to operate as far as driving it. And then we're going to make another mix. Our mix was uh, earlier, I forget, uh, right around... Uh, 1100 pounds and that is gone already there's a little bit down there so we're going to make our second match mix i really like this hydraulic cylinder on the door and the big wide door and uh i want to just show you some things here we got some little shards of metal on the magnet where is that coming from i don't know but there is some little magnet uh metal there just a little bit there and there so that's not going in the stomach. Uh, so that magnet is pretty powerful. Now, also in this video, we're going to talk about the J-Lord a little bit too. That has a twin screw too. Um, so the, the J-Lord is not a bad mixer. Don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong at all. Um, it's the knives. But when that has brand new knives, even if they are paper thin, that thing will cut and it makes a nice mix. But why do they have to be $800? That, that's where I'm getting a little upset. And they don't last at all. When we start making more foragey, uh, like your alfalfa, grass hay, uh, Timothy, I need something to tear that apart. If I put it out there whole, they're going to pull it back down in the crap and they won't eat it. When it's ground up, they're eating everything. And I'll show you where that, what it looks like down there. So, just work with me here a little bit as I walk around with this mixer again. This is the steering hydraulic valve system. Now, I would like to see them put a steering wheel on, just like the J-Lord, and a valve and a, a rear wheel drive wheel. The, the J-Lord drives with all its wheels. Even the steering wheel has hydraulic motor to it. But there again, I'm just learning. So um, we'll see here. Once you get used to it, then it's another story. And I want to make a video of us making a mix in real time. And, you know so you guys can realize how how my day goes sometimes and uh, what time what kind of time it takes now it's gonna burn gas that's a 35 horse Vanguard motor so that tank was about half full in the very first mix she will drink gas I can tell that right off the bat um, before I started up here I'm gonna start up open the door talk about the knives a little bit more and uh, you can tell I'm excited, you know. I just seen that little shards of metal there on the magnet. Things like that. I mean, even for dairy cows. You dare to have metal. I mean, there's guys that throw a magnet down in the cow's stomach. Uh, just to help hold that metal from cutting their stomachs. Once again, I'm going to lay down here and talk about underneath here. We have these big uh, drive sprockets here. And one motor that drives everything. Now I like that concept. I mean you got your chains and you got to oil them and stuff. But you get a lot of torque on that big sprocket. It's going to be a wear item. But um, you keep them oiled and greased. You know you're going to have something nice here. So and it has the scales. And um, you can see the drive motors and the wheels. I would love to see a dry wheel on the back air. I don't think you need two sets of wheels on this thing, but it does. 
one thing, you know, I get a lot of sometimes negative uh, comments or just a thumbs down. I'm a working farm, so um, we're not here to show off. I need to make my life easier. I can't afford uh, employees. So, you know, you guys put the thumb down, and, you know, try to go out and start an operation like this. You know, next time you go to the steakhouse and you order a steak. I don't know anybody that doesn't like steak, but whatever. I have another video I'm going to do about you thumbs down guys. Because this is a, this is a real operation. We're not here to show off. Uh, here's another one of these things here. You can set them in. This knife here holds the hay back so it tears it apart a little bit better. I did put the one in a little bit and it did bunch up at the one end. I don't think that's necessary for what, what hay we're putting in right now, but I really like that because that's on the big mixers. Um, so I'm saying a lot of stuff here. These videos can get really long quick. Uh, but, you know, some guys don't have the opportunity to see these mixers up close. And, and again, I'm excited about it. So, I mean, uh, and this is not a cheap unit, by the way. I don't have a number on it yet, but once they give me a number, I'll let you know. Uh, nice size motor, nice horsepower motor. I mean, these electronics and uh, cylinders and all these valves are just... Uh, uh, seem like complicated, but I mean, it takes a what to make it drive. Um, let's back up here a little bit. Why did I design my barn with a mixer to feed inside? Well, first of all, a lot of you guys don't know who or when or how I started out. I did not have it easy. I dealt with wet feed. Uh, I, I fed over in the other barn. And uh, I was always frustrated. And it's just like I was just turning and spinning my wheels and... So, when I had the opportunity to put this building up, I decided I want to feed inside and uh, keep my feed dry. And and I always like bringing the feed to the animals. I'm not a grazing person. So, all right. Well, let's uh, start it up here. I'll talk more about those stories later. I have a lot of stories in my life, but... Um, you know that's a whole nother series and I'm a working farmer so I don't have time to tell too many stories right now okay so we're gonna start this Vanguard up Vanguard likes to be choked As you can see, the cattle did not like that. They took off pretty fast. Poor guys are all jammed back here tight. I'll get used to it. Okay. I should have my tape measure. But you can see the thickness of this auger. It's a well-made auger. The thickness of the knife. So... Maybe I'm going to pause it here and get a tape measure so I can answer some questions quick. Okay guys, got a tape measure here. Just kind of look at the tape measure and you see. Quarter inch thick auger. And a quarter inch thick knife. Now that's a knife. A stainless steel hopper. Now this batch here was mostly hay. You can see it, it's shredded. Two big heavy bolts. Very sharp. Easy to change.
Looks about like seven knives per an auger. Seven or eight, I'm gonna have to count them here. So we're all learning together here on this mixer. Just big bolts to hold them on here. But you just look at that mix. I mean, that's perfect for what I want. They can't pick through it, and they're just going to eat everything up. Got a nice heavy floor. So, yeah. So, let's go out. And the winds are blowing like mad now, but I might have to do another video. But I just want to go out and show you the J Lord inside a little bit. We got one, two screws in here. So it's a twin screw, and the J Lord is a twin screw. Okay, I'm out here at the J Lord. Now the auger is not near as heavy, but yeah. I just want to show you the thickness of a new knife. I can't even, I mean, that's not even an eighth, a sixteenth maybe. I don't know if I focus here a little better. But it's just a broken knife here. No magnet. So this is a twin screw too. There you can see more of the metal popped up. So this is why I did not want to feed with this one no more until I get a new knife for this mixer. This mixer does not have the push-in knives to hold back, but it does have a little bit more indent there to make it mix. Um, the augers are lighter, but these are a good mixer. Other than the knives, um, that's my only issue right now. So, J Lord, let's get back to the drawing board and uh, figure this one out. I know we can do it. I mean, these are not cheap units. So, this is the J Lord 100. We're gonna go. Okay, Brad. I wanted to show you a little bit how to drive it here. You can see the joystick. So, it's really tricky when you're driving it and you just push to the one and you go to steer. So, it's really uh, sensitive. It's almost like a skid loader. And what I do is I rest my hand here. And as I go back and forth, I kind of just slide it up back and forth so um today's really getting pretty windy the video is getting long so there's going to be a plenty more to go over this thing and uh, so the next video is going to be mixing in real time and uh, so you guys can see you know what it takes for me to get a mix here we're just going to shoot for about 1800 pounds in the next uh, mix here and now get us through tomorrow morning uh, all right uh, leave your comments if you want to see something you guys that uh, put the thumbs down uh, don't like them go find another video this isn't about advertisement for this company this is about what makes my life easier on the farm to feed the world so and there's a lot of farmers out there work hard every day grain farmers and everything else and uh, so there's the manufacturer I mean uh, they seem to be a really good team and they're gonna do whatever it takes to make this thing go so all right well we'll get back to here I'm gonna start it up and uh, do another whole video on uh, mixing so comment rate and subscribe and um, this way I can get feedback on this machine and uh, I know there's I'm not the only one that has these machines out there so other guys might have one uh, let me know uh, what you guys think of them and uh, the the tubs well built I mean a well built tub solid heavy machine but um, that's one thing I like about it that hydraulic big wide door that worked really nice down there to feed and you can see there's not much feed down there if we're not if they're not eating 
They're not growing, they're not gaining weight, and I'm not making any money, so. All right, guys. We'll talk to you a little bit here. Have a great afternoon.